Hi students, welcome back to the 2022-23 school year. This is Mr. Four, we're really excited to have you. This place is lonely, it's boring without students here, so we can't wait to get you here. Hey, one thing we wanna hit on real quick here is our dress code. As many of you know, last year, the dress code kinda got away from us. We didn't uh, enforce it like we should have. We allowed students to make a lot of their own choices with the dress code, and that kinda got out of hand, meaning a lot of students decided not to enforce the dress code anymore on themselves. We really believe the dress code starts at home. It starts at home with what you choose to put on in the morning. These gates right here, there's two entrances to the school as you know. Any students not in dress code will not be able to come onto campus until 8 a.m. when our administrative team gets out here to the gate. So when you show up early in the morning, if you're not in dress code, you're not gonna be coming on campus again until about 8 a.m. and at that time administration will write down the names of the students not in dress code your parents will be contacted and then you'll start to get some detentions and that sort of thing if you're not in dress code so real important you make the right decisions at home the biggest thing is you got to have a collared shirt on every single day you can wear shorts you can wear jeans you can't have holes and rips in those jeans so make sure to pay attention to that make sure to read the dress code it's attached to this email and, and make those good choices every day to be dressed appropriately here on campus so you can have a great year. Folks, it's gonna be a great year. Uh, thanks for watching this. Thanks for being in Dress Code, and we'll see you later. Hi students, my name is Dr. Sullivan. This is Ms. Jackson. We are the new assistant principals here at TPAA. This year we are focusing on getting kids where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be. That's right, Dr. Sullivan. So students, make sure you're where you're supposed to be at because if not, then uh, that may count as a truancy um, if things seem to escalate with your tardiness. Um, the procedure will be that the campus supervisor will escort students to our admin office and parents, we will definitely give you a phone call home um, so your child can explain on where they are located, all right, if they're not where they're supposed to be during the right time. So students, let's get the year started right and just make sure that we're supposed to be where we're supposed to be at. We have our new bell schedule in place and we look forward to seeing you this year. And do we have bells on campus now? That's right, our first bell will go off at 825 to signal the moving to starting the first period. And at the one minute warning, you guys will hear one more bell. Um, and then at the end of each period, you'll hear the bell to signal the end of that period. So there should be no excuses, no confusion about where you guys are supposed to be when you're supposed to be. So let's make it a great start, ladies and gentlemen. Let's avoid any tardies or truancies, and let's get the year started off right. I look forward to you guys this coming year. Glad to be here. Hello, Griffins. It's Mrs. Jackson and Dr. Sullivan here. Um, today we want to talk about safety. Safety is our number one priority as your administrators. We believe that every child here has the right to remain safe. To ensure that safety, we offer the bullying and harassment form available at our school website, the tpaa.org. The form is available in person as well, in the admin office and in our front office. Now, these forms can be filled out anonymously, so students don't feel pressured into having to put your name. Uh, once these forms are filled out, our admin office gets it, and we do our due diligence to investigate each claim um, to the fullest extent to ensure the safety and well-being of our Griffins. We're excited to be here to support you guys in every in every which way, but safety, of course, is our number one priority. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We look forward to having you guys this year.